These days, it takes me about nine months to create a book from start to finish. And in fact, this year, I started on January 1st, and I ended on, I think, about September 8th. So I know, you know how long it takes. Is that nine months? Um, but it, you know, and I had a blank page, and it's very intimidating to have nothing. Uh, but I know uh, that to create a good book, I need between 350 and 400 image ideas. Uh, and then I can whittle it down. So if I, if I just know that I need to put out that quantity, then I can eventually find my way to the quality. But if I don't have the quantity, I find myself in real trouble because then I need to pad, and I can't stand doing that. I start thinking of my book in terms of jokes. Uh, I think of as many jokes as I can. They're not related to each other by and large. And then hopefully there are enough that relate to each other in the big picture that I can develop a theme. So oftentimes I won't know until weeks uh, before my first draft is due what the basic plot line is. And so it's very intimidating. You know, I'll meet my foreign publishers who are saying, well, you know, the book's coming out in just a few months, and I will say I literally don't know what the book is about. And that's been the case uh, with the last few books. Uh, my process is that I come up with about 350 ideas, and I usually write them now on my phone uh, because my phone's always with me. And then I'll put them all into a big uh, document, and I'll put values, I'll assign values to each joke. So this joke might be a four image joke series, or this one might be just a one image uh, joke, and then I'll count how many I have, and then start arranging things in terms of themes. So I'll outline it in a very broad sort of way, maybe just three bullet points, and then I'll expand and expand from there. And then I'll start writing my first draft, and after I'm done with my first draft, uh, then I start drawing, usually very late in the game. In fact, this year it was closer to the wire than ever. I drew for the entire month of August, and I averaged, uh, I'd, I'd say, about 15 hours a day. Uh, meals in the lap, drawing on a backlit screen. Uh, it was very, very intense, and nothing could go wrong, and luckily nothing did. I turn in probably about eight drafts of my book. It's pretty uh, labor-intensive, and, and humor is such a subjective thing that I'm constantly polling people to see what works and what doesn't. And I often hand out my, my first draft to a, about four or five people from different walks of life because people respond to different things. And I try to find where there's consensus. Uh, so that's a big part of the process. And then from there, it's, I think, a standard manuscript process. But I don't want to put pen to paper on the drawing until I'm sure of everything because each one of those drawings, and there are about 350 per book, uh, takes an hour. So you don't want to go too far down a path that you might have to pull back from. I would say that the final version of the book is more polished and uh, it is fairly substantially different than, than the first draft. You know, I usually drop major storylines. Uh, on this new book, I found myself a little bit short, so I inserted a character in between the scenes, and, and my publisher li likes that character the most. Uh, so he was sort of an accident uh, that, that came about from, from under writing my book. I feel pretty confident in the idea that there are a lot of jokes in my brain that I just need to figure out how to draw out. Um, I think that comedy is a filter anyway, is that we're all living the same lives in ways, but uh, some people can uh, see the humor in things and some people can't. Um, I feel like I can see the humor in things and I feel that, you know, very blessed to be able to do that. Uh, but everybody has their own filter the way they look at life.